In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the special integration formulas to find the indefinite integral of trig substitution problems. So let's use this problem as an example. What is the integral of the square root of 25 minus 4x squared dx? Now you need to know which formula to use in order to find the answer. And here's the formula that you need the antiderivative of the square root of a squared minus u squared du. This is equal to 1 half a squared arc sine u divided by a plus u square root a squared minus u squared plus c. So what you need to do first is you need to determine the values of a and u. You need to know what a and u are equal to. So we can clearly see that 25 corresponds to a squared and 4x squared corresponds to u squared. So we can say that a or a squared is 25 and u squared is 4x squared. Now if we take the square root of both sides we can get the value of a. So a is a constant use of variable. a is 5 and the square root of 4x squared is 2x. Now we need to find du. du is going to be 2dx and we need to solve for dx. So dx is du over 2 and this step is important. Once you get the values of a and u you don't just want to plug it into this formula. If you do it that way chances are you're going to get the wrong answer unless du is equal to dx. You need to incorporate this 2 into the expression. And the best way to do that is to convert the integral expression from x to u and then apply the formula. Don't apply the formula directly, otherwise you may get the wrong answer. So watch out for that mistake. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace 25 with a squared. And we're going to replace 4x squared with u squared. And here's the important step. Replace dx with du over 2. If you miss it, you might just get the wrong answer. Now let's move this constant to the front. So this is 1 half the integral of the square root of a squared minus u squared du. So now we need to replace this part of our expression with this equation or that expression. So what we now have is 1 half times everything you see here. So that's another one half. And then a squared arc sine of u over a plus u square root a squared minus u squared and then plus c. So now let's get rid of this. One half times one half is one over four. And then we need to replace a squared with 25. And then we have arc sine u over a. So u is 2x and a is 5. So u over a is going to be 2x over 5. And then plus another u, which is 2x. And then a squared, that's 25 minus u squared, which is 4x squared, and then plus c. So to write the final answer, let's distribute the 1 fourth. So let's rewrite the original problem. The integral of t square root 25 minus 4x squared dx, that's going to be 25 over 4 arc sine 2x divided by 5 plus 2x divided by 4 is x over 2. So x over 2 square root 25 minus 4x squared plus c. And so this is the final answer. Let's try another problem. Find the indefinite integral of 16 minus 4x squared dx using the same process. So, once again, this is in the same form. 
where the integral of the square root of a squared minus u squared du is equal to 1 half a squared arc sine u over a plus u square root a squared minus u squared plus c. So we're dealing with the same formula for this problem. So we can see that 16 is equal to a squared and u squared is 4x squared. Now the square root of 16 is 4, so a is 4, and the square root of 4x squared is 2x. Now we got to find du. du is 2dx, and then solving for dx, dx is going to be du divided by 2. So now let's replace 16 with a squared, and let's replace 4x squared with u squared, and then let's replace dx with du over 2. So we got to move that 2 to the front again. So we're going to have 1 half the integral of square root a squared minus u squared du. And so we're going to replace this integral with this equation. So this is equal to 1 half times another 1 half. And then it's going to be a squared arc sine u over a plus u square root a squared minus u squared plus c. So 1 half times 1 half, that's 1 over 4. And then in this problem, a squared is 16. And then we have arc sine u over a. So u is 2x, a is 4, plus u, which is 2x, and then square root, a squared, that's 16, u squared is 4x squared, and then close the brackets, plus c. So now we can get rid of everything that we have before, just to make some space. Now, 1 fourth of 16 or 16 divided by 4, so that's 4. And 2x divided by 4, we can reduce that to x divided by 2. Now we need to distribute the 1 fourth. So 1 fourth times 2x, you could say x over 2 or 1 half x. Now, inside the square root symbol, I can factor out a 4. I could take away 4 from 16 and 4x squared. So 16 divided by 4 is 4, and negative 4x squared divided by 4 is just negative x squared. So this is what we now have. Now, the reason why I did that is because I can separate this into two square root symbols. And so the square root of 4 is 2. And let's not forget plus c. Now, 1 half times 2 is 1, so these will cancel. And therefore, the final answer is going to be 4 times arc sine of x divided by 2 plus x times the square root of 4 minus x squared plus c. And so this is it. Now let's work on one more problem. Let's find the indefinite integral of the square root of 16x squared plus 9 dx. So what formula do we need to use? So you need this formula. The square root of u squared plus a squared du, the integral of this expression, that's going to be 1 half times u square root u squared plus a squared. And then we have plus a squared natural log absolute value u plus square root u squared plus a squared. And then 
plus C, which I'm running out of space. So we could see that U squared is 16X squared, and A squared is 9. So if a squared is equal to 9, that means a is equal to 3. And if u squared is 16x squared, u is going to be the square root of 16, which is 4, and the square root of x squared is x. So du is going to be 4dx. Solving for dx, that's going to be du divided by 4. So now let's convert this expression by changing the variable x into the variable u. So 16x squared, we could set that equal to u squared. 9 is a squared. And dx, we're going to replace that with du divided by 4. So let's move the 4 to the front, as we've done before. So this is going to be 1 fourth integral of u squared plus a squared du. And now let's replace this portion with this equation. So this is equal to 1 fourth times 1 half, and then u square root, u squared plus a squared, plus a squared natural log of u plus u squared plus a squared within the square root symbol. And then plus c. So now we have 1 fourth times 1 over 2, so that's equal to 1 over 8. And then we could replace u with 4x. And then we have the square root of u squared, which is 16x squared, and then a squared is 9, plus another a squared. And then ln u, which is 4x, plus the square root of u squared, so that's 16x squared, and then plus a squared, which is 9, and then plus c. Now, let's get rid of some stuff before we write the final answer. Four divided by eight, that's going to be one half. So this is equal to one half x square root sixteen x squared plus nine, and then this is going to be nine times one over eight, which is nine divided by eight. Natural log four x plus the square root of sixteen x squared plus nine, and then plus c. So this is the final answer. So that is the indefinite integral of the square root of 16x squared plus 9. And that's how you can use the special integration formulas to integrate trig substitution problems. Thanks for watching.